Maddie, you've got to be kidding me. We're just at the tail end, pun intended, of Maddie being in heat, which is really discouraging because I just got her bread three weeks ago and you don't want them coming into heat after you get them bred because that means she didn't take, she's not pregnant. So I'm gonna have to get her bred again. So I've got my AI tech coming tomorrow morning to breed her again, which is really annoying for a couple different reasons. Now, in just a second, I'll go over some of the signs that you can watch for to see if your cow is in heat or not. But the reasons that I don't want to have to breed her again is number one, it's expensive. I get sex semen for my cows so that I end up with a heifer calf. It ends up that it's like $40 a straw. Plus then it's another, like $40 to have the AI tech come out, which he doesn't always charge me then when he has to come out a second time just to be nice since they didn't take the first time. Also, this means I'm another three weeks behind. I like for my calves to be born in early spring and already this last one was born later than I wanted it to. It was born on June the 8th and I would actually rather them be born in like May or maybe even April. I hadn't been able to get her bred soon enough last year and now this time calf was born late and they usually cycle within 60 days, but she didn't cycle that soon so on the first cycle that I caught, I got her bread this time, and now she's in heat again, so she didn't take. So this might be a little awkward, but the first sign that I got this morning that she was probably in heat again was when I went to tie her tail for milking. I tie her tail so that she doesn't swap me in the face with it. I grabbed it and I got mucus on my hands. I know, that's really gross. You didn't want to know that. But anyways, that is a sign that your cow might be in heat. Now, they will have mucus other times, so that's not a sure sign, but that's one of the signs. Now, if you see blood in the mucus a little bit, that probably means that you're a little late, like she had been in heat maybe a couple days before. The second sign that your cow might be in heat is a big drop in milk production. So about a month ago, she was given like five gallons. Then when I switched her from grass to hay, she dropped to about three and a half gallons, which was a little discouraging, but it's okay. But then this morning, once I was done milking her, I was using this milker, I could tell that there wasn't much milk in there. I brought it in here and Shelly did the straining and she gave barely more than a gallon and a half. This may also be a little awkward, but the sure sign that your cow's in heat and that she's ready to breed is if you put some weight on her back end and she just kind of sags a little bit and she lets you hang on her back end like that, that means that she will be ready to breed. So if there was a bull in the pasture, that's when the bull would be going on top of her and that's called standing heat. With regular artificial insemination, I think it's within about 12 hours that you want to breed them after the start of their standing heat. With sex semen, you wanna wait a little longer. It's more like 18 to 24 hours that you wait after the start of their standing heat. And it doesn't have to be you either that puts weight on her back end. If you've got other cows and you see them jumping on top of your cow and she stands there for them, that's standing heat. And that means depending on which kind of semen you're using, you can count the hours and that's when you're ready to get her bred. The last time that Peaches was in heat, Maddie was trying to jump on her and Peaches stood there because she wanted to be bred, even though that's not a bull. Maddie was trying to mount her this morning and Peaches ran away. So that means Peaches wasn't the one in heat. It was Maddie that was the one in heat. With our first cow, it was pretty hard to catch her heat cycle, especially since she was the only cow here but she was also just really quiet about her heat. Maddie is different. Even when we didn't have another heifer here for her to be jumping around on and stuff and showing us that she's in heat, she was very verbal about being in heat. When she's by herself, she does a whole lot of bawling and mooing way more than usual. So that is another sign of heat. Another one is if you see their ears flicking back and forth a whole lot more than usual, they'll do it some normally, but when they're in heat, they're just a whole lot more like attentive and stuff like that. Also just their attitude. They can just get really ornery when they're in heat and it can get really annoying, especially when you're milking them and they just are acting kind of crazy when you're trying to milk them. The AI tech will be here before too long when you're done with the milking first. Her udder actually felt like it was filled up this morning and like there's a lot of milk in there. So that's a good thing, seeing as how we only got a gallon and a half yesterday. But usually that's just how it is with heat. They'll drop for like one day, go way down. And I've never had it quite that drastic from three and a half down to one and a half. Much heavier this morning.
The AI tech just left. He said that she wasn't quite as soft and there wasn't as much fluid in there as last time. And so that could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Good thing in the sense that maybe possibly I didn't actually, she wasn't in heat yesterday, that it was just a false heat, which would seem like a really strong false heat. Could also be that we were too late, that maybe just waited too long to have him here to get her bread. I don't know. I've got some pregnancy tests on order that should come pretty soon that I can do at home here with a blood sample. Now, pregnancy shouldn't show up on those tests until about 30 days or so after they're bred. So I think what I'll do is wait about a week or so and do that test just to check to see if the first time she was pregnant, because if it shows up that she was pregnant, that means she was bred the first time. And then if she shows not pregnant, then it still could be that she took this time, but not the first time. Coming up next time on More Than Farmers. This right here is an on-farm pregnancy test. Let's go see what it says. 